Welcome back to part two of Westmeath County Matters. The generosity of the Irish is a recurring theme on tonight's programme and next we're off to St Lomans GA Club in Mullingar for Strictly Come Dancing. Who knew that a charity event could be so much fun and so entertaining? And that's before they even raise the curtain. Well, it's a great cause, absolutely brilliant. The, the banter the, from the very start, the camaraderie, the whole lot, the partners, excellent. Very, very good fun. People, like I mean to say, forget at the end of the day that it's a fundraiser for loan. There has to be a certain amount of fun and there'll be a bit of seriousness as well. So it's finally the day of the main show and we're all so excited and there's nerves and everybody's just flying around, getting ready and just really buzzing for the show now. It's been a great few weeks, it's been a great few weeks, a great, great group of people that are doing it now and uh, I think it's going to be fantastic. Full house. Full house, a fantastic show lined up tonight, fantastic show lined up tonight. So if we could only settle the nerves for the next few minutes and get through it, it'd be even better, you know? Over 1,200 people packed into the Mullingar Park Hotel for the Strictly Show, hosted by Robbie Irwin. And as you will see, the fun didn't end at the dressing room door. A fabulous success uh, tonight. Uh, we've been very lucky to have such a crowd. Um, over 1,200 people here tonight in a packed Mullingar Park Hotel and the uh, excitement and uh, enthusiasm to crowd really was unbelievable. Uh, I'd say it was one of the most enjoyable nights I've ever been at here in the Park Hotel and most people have said that on the way out. Uh, I suppose uh, we've been very lucky. The dancing was of a really uh, top drawer quality and uh, the, you know, the behind the scenes, the works, the way it was organised, the professionalism, the whole outfit, the way the layout was organised, uh, the committee and all the work they put in, just incredible. Gillian Malidi and her Strictly Dancing Committee in St Lomans really worked out at their skins to produce this performance tonight, uh, which was second to none. Um, you know, Lorraine again, the choreographer and the two ladies with her, uh, pull out all the stops to produce the best they could from the dancers tonight. And uh, I think we've been very lucky to witness such an exceptional show here tonight. So, yeah, it really was enjoyable and um, I hope it happens again sooner rather than later. Uh, for the club itself, um, after such success tonight, I suppose we... You know, we put in a lot of work and we were just curious how it was going to pan out in the night. But when you see the numbers of people coming in and you see people queuing from half six for a show that wasn't going to start till, you know, probably eight-ish, um, it really was uh, gratifying, I suppose, that, you know, the work you put in was going to pay off. Um, and the club, I suppose, you know, the money is a factor of it. Uh, but again, we have a, a lot of place for that, particularly at underage football or underage academy. Uh, we had 130 under sixes uh, signed up this weekend to play underage, under, you know, from six down, six to five. So incredible numbers come through our club and uh, the finances will be badly needed, um, you know, to support all the underage and the works at underage. But apart from that, I think outside of that, uh, the PR club it is for the PR job it is for the club itself uh, to promote our club. Uh, show the different strains and uh, different type of people and different every different walk of life we have in our club and how we exist and work so well together and uh, you know produce such a show like that tonight I really was proud to be uh, chairman of St Lomans here tonight so I took great pleasure in that and um, I think everyone that was involved here tonight could. Well as they say in all competitions there can only be one winner. We caught up with them at the end to find out their secret. <laughs> The winners of Strictly St. Lomans Mullingar GAA are <laughs> Ursula Keane and Amir Cleary! Whether we won it or not was almost irrelevant. We just wanted to know that on the night we gave it all and whatever the result was the result. Yeah, and that, that was what yeah, we did. You know, yeah, and that we put in plenty of practice. We yeah. wanted it to be good, but then once we got here tonight, in fact, I think last night we decided that we were just going to enjoy it yeah. and have fun. And I think yeah. 
it showed, I think most people have said to me tonight anyway, they could see from both of us that we both really enjoyed it and we enjoyed yeah. the performing and the dance and we had fun. So I suppose we achieved what we yeah, wanted. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah, yeah. And we never got cross with each other. No, we didn't, you know. I mean, I mean, Two dirty looks, I mean, maybe. I mean, no, yeah, but, but, but to be fair, I mean, we started dancing as a couple about four, three weeks ago, yeah. four weeks ago. Yeah, four weeks, yeah. And, and, and we had some great laughs, in fairness. Yeah, no, you know? we did. We, did. we really did. Yeah. Like, I mean, and even, was it last night or the night before? I can't remember. Friday or Thursday night. And Ursa says, you know, we were laughing. I was laughing my head off. We were starting to do the dancing. She was going, no, keep laughing. We have to get the laughs out of our system now. Yeah. <laughs> it was great. We can't be laughing tomorrow yeah, yeah. night. We can be smiling, but not laughing. Yeah. You know, so, so, uh, yeah. 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 No, it's been fun, I have to say. It's been an experience and it's been great. And we've enjoyed, I suppose, our Charleston dance helped a lot because yeah. it was so happy. It was a happy, smiley dance. And uh, I think everybody enjoyed looking up at people smiling and happy. And I think that really yeah. helped us to pull in extra votes, maybe, I, because I, yeah. uh, of the cheerfulness of our dance. There's no doubt that Strictly will be back this autumn, so keep an eye out on St. Lomond's GAA for more details. We have a complete change of pace now as we